The opinions expressed in the video you are about to see are solely those of BoatTest.com and its test captain. Welcome to BoatTest.com. I'm Captain Rob Smith on board the Vectra 2200 Fish. As you can see, it's a fiberglass deck boat with a lot of room up front, a lot of room and comfort inside. So if you jump on board with me, we'll take a look at some of the key features that set this boat apart. Just looking at her from the deck up, you would assume you're looking at a pontoon boat with great openness and seating, which is exactly what they wanted to capture with this fiberglass deck boat. The boat offers maximum space along with the performance to fish, ski, or cruise with the whole family. I got 48 inches long, beam width, and room for two fish chairs up front. Still more typical of a pontoon boat, you have a lightweight bulwark structure surrounding the deck and a front gate entry for boarding. Unlike pontoon boats, but more like a bow rider, the 2200 Fish offers snap-in carpet to make it super simple to clean up after a day of cruising or fishing. The builders fitted the forward sole locker with a live well close to the casting chairs. Just abaft the live well is a sole locker to stow your water toys. Up front we have plenty of room for all the adults to get together and enjoy a conversation, enjoy a drink. One of the designs that I really like is where they put the speakers. In many cases with a deck boat or pontoon boat, I see them put the speakers in the lower panels and that muffles the sound and makes it a little less rich and not as enjoyable. In this case, they've got the speakers up high and they're right in front of where the drinks are going to be kept. So you're always going to keep that open anyway. Very smart design. Although I did not see drains in the storage under the seats, there is a good channel running around the tops to keep water out. These days, you have to have an MP3 or iPod on board, and they have a great spot to plug it in as well as to keep it visible to see what's playing. The builder's engineers have carefully placed the gauges high for good visibility. The throttle's mounted within arm's reach and is comfortable to use. I'm driving a boat this morning. I found the helm seat very comfortable. It seems to have every adjustment except for the height adjustment, and you don't need that on a pontoon boat or a deck boat. Swing away armrest, cut and slide, and swivel. A lot of deck boats and pontoon boats have a changing station, either optional or it's a standard feature. Most of the time I see it in the very back, and that space gets used for a lot of things, and when it's used for a changing station, it takes up some valuable space. Here's where they put it, and I think it makes a lot of sense. It's in the end cap of the bench, pops up, and snap that. You even got a place to keep everything together. That's another hard part, is keeping all the stuff folded away when you don't need it. We've got a four-step telescoping swim ladder so you can get out there and enjoy the water. If you want to have some of the tow water sports, you've got a ski rack on the back of this one. With the Honda 150, you've got plenty of power. The Vector Space Deck Model 2200 Fish measures 22 feet 3 inches length overall on a beam of 8 feet 6 inches. She has a fuel capacity of 50 gallons and is rated up to 200 horsepower. The boat without motor weighs about 3,147 pounds dry and has a capacity of up to 12 people or 2,750 pounds people in gear. There are a lot of companies these days which are building pontoon boats and at first glance they may all seem pretty much the same. In this video I've tried to point out some elements that set the 2200 apart, but perhaps the most important thing of all is the fact that Vector is built by Smokercraft, a family owned business that's fiercely passionate about the reputation of its products and customer service. If you're in the market for a tradable 22-footer, be sure and take a look at this Vectra 2200F.